Hello everybody, and welcome to a little unusual sort of video for me. Um, today I've actually been given uh, the chance, I'm very very excited about this, to do a little pre-release update uh, and kind of showing you guys what's in the new update for the Metro Overhaul mod. Um, as you can see, these are a bunch of my subway trains all heading here. Uh, fun fact, I don't know if many people know, I hope hopefully it's clear enough, uh, I actually made the default Metro Overhaul mod train as well, so you'll see that around, I've got a whole bunch of new stuff. So um, the changelog for this is something I've been super pumped for for a really long time. I've kind of been plugged into the development, uh, to the terrible, it's been uh, a huge help kind of making sure I'm connected with all this, and honestly, like, a lot of this is my direct suggestion, which is a lot of fun to be able to have. I'm just noticing uh, we're getting to nighttime a little too quickly. Um, but uh, I'm super excited for this, so you'll be seeing a ton of this sort of stuff in Gramercy once it's actually released, which should be really soon. I believe uh, it's supposed to come out in early December 2017. Uh, I'm recording this on the 2nd, so who knows? Maybe it also, it's already out by the time I do this video. But uh, what you can see here is actually the first quick thing that I just love. Uh, they've really expanded upon the classic style this time uh, for the Metro tracks. So right here you're seeing a classic tunnel entrance now. Uh, I'll compare that with the modern one later. Uh, they've of course renamed the concrete and steel styles to modern and classic, which I think is uh, completely appropriate. But uh, the big thing, I mean for me a lot of the steel track stuff is big, but for me um, or for most other people, it's going to be stuff like this. The single tracks, the new pillars, and I mean, I just can't believe how nice this all is. Uh, these were done, these pillars were done by me. Uh, I screwed those up, don't worry. So uh, real quick, I'm just going to kind of show you. I went and improved this little testing town that I have. Uh, there we go, that's a little bit better. Uh, I improved this testing town with a whole bunch of crazy over-the-top Metro stuff, all using the new uh, Metro Overhaul update. So uh, you can see here, this is one of my favorite things. This is based off of that interchange, train interchange in Chicago. Uh, and of course it works perfectly. I had to glitch a little bit to cover these up because it was just having a few too many visual errors. Ooh, that's not great, but that's my fault again. Uh, but you can just do stuff like this now with the single tracks. And it just, it looks so good from up here. I just can't believe how nice it is. Uh, and there are a lot of really cool options that we're all getting. Uh, suit too. So one of the things that I don't actually have quite yet, but I've been told is coming, is a toggle to make it drop more support. So I always thought that uh, this looked a little bit silly with just like one support here and then the next one miles away, uh, but we're getting one that's going to drop prop supports, which I absolutely just cannot wait for. It's going to be so nice. Uh, anyway, so you can see here, I've just got kind of a sample sort of city, just showing off all the old sort of metro stuff. Um, and now, I'm just going to quickly take a peek at my notes here. Uh, yeah, that's right, okay. So the big new cool thing, or one of the nice things, is this whole kind of building process has been smoothed out with this UI, which is awesome to see. So as always, I'm just going to sit here, uh, you get your modern style, that drops the concrete, I'm just going to do straight tracks for now, uh, and I'm doing elevated because I think these have the most different sort of styles. You get the classic, uh, and those are the two there, but now you get single tracks as well, which is just such a huge upgrade, and you get them in both one-way and two-way varieties. They don't clog up your uh, thing down here. It's just pretty much like as good as you could possibly hope it would be. Uh, the one-way and two-way, I believe, do share meshes and things. Um, just it, it all like just looking at this it just all works exactly as you hope it would be and with the new road editors and things I don't I'd imagine this is a little harder to do just because uh, the guys who are making the Metro overhaul mod uh, are godly but um, I'd love to see more stuff like this like when I go into my road menu and just see like hundreds of custom roads and things that's like uh, but like something like this, because it, it honestly it works almost, it reminds me a lot of the bridge selector from SimCity 4, which is something I've just wanted forever. Um, anyway, so now you get the uh, alt slash barrier toggle, which uh, gives, you get fences or no fences. So this is classic single one way, so it's down here. Uh, and this works for all tracks. Uh, I found this stuff really useful for the no barrier stuff. It looks a little less realistic to me. Uh, but maybe that's just because uh, I'm really used to it looking a specific way. But um, I 
feel like the fences. But I found that the no barrier stuff is incredible. Wow, the fog is going nuts. Uh, let's turn that off. Let's turn that back to zero. Uh, but anyway, the the no uh, no barrier stuff is really good for things like this, where you don't want like where you're pushing the intersection geometry maybe a little too far, and you don't want something like that to uh, to show up and just have like a big fence blocking the track. So. It works just so well, and it's so nice. Um, in addition to that, I've got a little showcase of the new track types over here uh, as we rise out from this little uh, classic thing. Right here, just kind of quickly, you get, here's the classic with barrier on the ground, uh, the modern with the barrier on the ground, the classic without the barrier on the ground, which is really nice, like rural stuff, I guess. Uh, though with the third rail, it's not quite as rural as some other tracks, uh, but, you get uh, this as well, and of course, just the the mesh for these. I've I've heard that some people involved in this are working on the whoa, <laughs> are going to be working on revamping the train tracks soon. And I just can't wait because just looking at this, it's just so much nicer uh, than the disgusting like silver lumps that we get from regular trains. So it's like compare that track with like this. It's just it's not even close, right? It's, like, it's just, uh, it's, I mean, as a rail fan, as somebody interested in all this stuff, and as somebody planning on using a ton of metro networks and things in his cities, that, like, God, it's just, it's everything I could have possibly wanted, and it's just really nice. So, uh, looking over here, I've got a quick and very simple little track split uh, for the turnaround, which is nice, and we go up, and single track bridges work just like you'd hope they would. They look just like you'd hope they would. Uh, this is just the double track bridge, just so you can see what it's like. So the single track ones kind of have the solid piece, the double track have this. Uh, and then with steel, which is really nice, uh, you get new pillars as well for both of them. Uh, they're just kind of skinnier versions. I know that the steel ones are completely new. Uh, but we have two different bridge types now, which is awesome. So we have this one, uh, it's, I think it's called the Pony Girder. But it just depends on the, uh, the selection that you have in the alt slash barrier. So it just provides this alternate style, which I think is just so perfect. Uh, it works for single track and double track. Let's just force bridge here. Um, so the alt mode now has the extra tall uh, fence, not fence, like truss system, which, I mean, I think it works really well in some situations, but just like for me, this girder bridge, if I'm looking at a subway train in New York uh, going over a highway, it's this, it's not this huge thing. But if you look at one going over like a river, it's definitely this uh, larger kind of truss structure. These work both for double tracks and single tracks as well. Uh, the double track grit bridge I just absolutely love uh, with the third kind of truss beam in the middle. Uh, it's over here. But it's just, it's incredible. I love this sort of stuff and having these variations is just so, so awesome uh, and really kind of the, with at the beginning of the Metro Overhaul mod kind of already made Metro's the most realistic network in the game and now with this update it's just even better like there's a variation in bridges and things there's variations in styles and just like being able to go from a modern concrete style to an older one just to like I'm making a network that was upgraded later in its life is just fantastic all right real quick I want to pause this and uh, show you guys some updates from underground, which is kind of a weird place to like update stuff. Whoa, not the best controlling this camera yet. You might have to, yeah, might have to sit through some clipping uh, involved. You know, we can do it like this. So that's the this is the modern tunnel. Uh, that's a modern tunnel entrance. Of course, these are whoa, that's weird. Uh, but these are all completely rendered in game. Uh, and then I believe we, we're going to transition at some point, yeah, to the classic tunnel, which is just, it's right right out of New York City. It's so nice. Just down here, like, you're going to start seeing cinematics from underground, which is just so cool. Um, that's actually a new train that I have that I'm going to be releasing with this update. And it comes out, it's just seamless. It's so perfect. I can't believe how awesome this stuff all looks. I want to quickly dive in onto the roof of this, this train here. Uh, but that'll work we're going backwards but just like going through and just it's all the girders all the classic style just looks so right um, and of course the modern style is still perfect as well uh, and except for some reason my version has a bunch of walls that the train crashes through but I'm pretty sure that's not uh, the mods fault uh, anyway I'm gonna stay attached to this uh, M100 train which is the default that comes with the game 
Uh, and we are going to ride this. So you can just see, God, I love that interchange too. Uh, I apologize. I'm just like rambling on being like pumped about all this stuff. But it's just so perfect. Whoa, whoa that was a close one. Uh, but we're curving now through the city and uh, through some trees. Oops. And now just the way like this sort of stuff. And it all just works and looks perfect. So right here I've got this weird kind of double deck station. There's a station underneath here that some trains stop at and some don't. So it kind of goes around. I'm just going to jump out. Oh, of course, we can teleport. But it's just, there's so many options. I'm just looking. Oh, I've lost. Oh, well. But if, you, if I get in with the camera here, the first person camera, uh, and look, I've got a station underneath here. You can see the new uh, elevated pillars for higher networks, which is really cool. That was something I've been working with Tim the Terrible. Well, something that I told Tim the Terrible, hey, it would be really cool if you could do this. And he's like, oh good idea I'll do this and then it, he did it and it just looks awesome so this is again I've got a couple I think this is a uh, one that I yeah it's a building that I was using to copy paste from but this uh, double deck thing oh, this is my fault again I was stretching some nodes too far uh, but this allows you to easily do double deck networks like this and they just they look perfect uh, and when you get low it or lower down it automatically switches to the less obtrusive single column um, and just the, the new features, so being able to drop the extra props, which are going to be really cool. Uh, I happen to know that Tim's also going to be releasing a, I think almost, maybe almost just for me, or just due to my request, a set of placeable props for all these pillars, uh, and a set of them like pieced out so you can build these huge truss structures and everything yourself, which I'm super excited for. Um, what? No. Yeah, that's right. I've got... Um, some interesting more things. There are a lot of visual upgrades to this, which is really exciting. We're actually going to jump on this train, the American Classic Subway, which is uh, new. Um, might, I'll feature it a little bit later, but right now I'm just focusing on uh, how awesome all this new metro... Ooh, that's, that's a result of me glitching it all out. Uh, but anyway, uh, we are riding this train, and this track actually has some really cool new stuff as well. So... One additional thing that's been added that I haven't shown off yet just because the assets haven't been made uh, is bendable, curvable stations and island platforms. Uh, underground, though, I believe they have been made. Uh, so we're just going to dive into the uh, into this tight labyrinth of all these things and pull into a curved station just like that. It works perfectly. It looks exactly right. It's just fantastic uh, that the train just pulls in. And this is really cool. It allows a lot more flexibility in your networks. Um, so there are many different ways you can curve these stations. Here's an island platform uh, as the terminus. As you can see, there's another big improvement that they're having. Uh, the sims actually go and will path themselves up and down the stairs and along the platforms perfectly uh, for both the island platforms and the side platforms. So uh, both all these platforms and stations all work properly uh, in terms of pathing, in terms of uh, where the trains all go. And just like, look at that. It's so, I can't believe this is City Skylines in here. Like we're in an underground station. Uh, it's all, like everything works. We've got, uh, not to brag, but we've got my nice, very nice train here, but it's curved. You can see the front of the train, like as it pulls through the station. It's just, it doesn't feel like a cookie cutter, like a puzzle piece based game anymore. Um, or a puzzle piece, like, that's the way SimCity 4 worked, is everything had to be puzzle pieces, and it all had to go together in a specific way, and to get curves, you had to just use, like, prefab stuff. This is now so flexible, it really feels like you can do anything without a grid, without anything like that, and it's just so cool. Um, just looking at my notes back here, uh... Yeah, that's another, uh, some invisible stuff, you no longer will need the Metro Overhaul patch for any of this, um... You're just going to be able to just install it like you used to. And um, yeah, you just subscribe to one thing. You don't need Bloody Penguins patch. So that's all baked right in. Um, pricing has been changed. So if you guys play, I play only on sandbox mode. So I don't really, pricing doesn't really affect me that much. But um, if you are somebody who plays the game by actually playing the game, you're going to really appreciate that this is now closer to passenger trains. I think that makes it a little bit cheaper. Oh, the actual train down here, vehicle effect. Um, I think that's innate or functional with uh, Metro Overhaul as well. So I don't have any assets that use it quite yet. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm distracting myself from the actual update video. So that's pretty much it, actually, as 
as kind of much as I'm looking here. It's just, it's so nice. It's such a huge quality of life upgrade. It's like, just, I could stare at this sort of rail interchange for literally the rest of my life. I just sit here and just watch all these subways and trains drive through. And I like, zoom. It just looks so good. Uh, I actually, oh shoot, I, you know what? I had networks that used the curves. It, they worked flawlessly, because of course they do, because the guys making this are absolute pros. But just watching this all happen, it just, it's perfect. You get so many more options. It's just now the, the most flexible system that you could possibly hope for uh, in game. And it, I mean, as, as much as this has, I'm just like heaping rates. It does everything you want and then some. And uh, with like dropping extra pillars as props, it's gonna make it a lot more flexible and easy to use for me. So I used to have to copy and paste extra pillars and things. Just the ability to do stuff like this, where you have like trains like climbing and down. And I mean, it's so fantastic. Only thing I hope for it soon is four track stuff. But I think that'll be fairly straightforward. I don't know, uh, really know what I'm talking about, but uh, like single tracks are more important. And now we have double tracks like one way. So we can DIY four track stuff like ex local and express lines just by using the double track one ways. It's just, it's so nice. So uh, anyway, um, I'm going to uh, leave it here as we watch the rest of these trains just kind of drive around uh, through this kind of, it's a weird, weird city. Uh, it's a very kind of city skylines noob -y. Oops. Uh, again, that's because I clipped them together here. But uh, it's excellent. You guys are, you're going to love it. I'm so happy to have an early copy. I'd like to thank uh, the developers for this, Tim the Terrible, Lazarus Man, um, and uh, Bloody Penguin for letting me do this little video. Uh, I can't believe how awesome it is and uh hope you guys are as excited as i was for this um and it's just it's such a good mod it's such a good mod team uh i really really appreciate working with them uh to do videos like this to uh i've got i did the m100 i was hoping to get another uh, i was hoping to make this american classic subway uh come with the mod too just because it's i think equally nice and matches the steel tracks a little bit better it's just such a cool looking uh train but uh, I think that's a future task to try to figure out a way to make like another depot that would spawn these versus other ones, which would also be just super nice. But like all of a sudden they've finished all my need features uh, and have already started like smashing through my list of things that I want to see in the game. So that's about it. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. I'm so excited about this. I'm so happy it's all here. It just looks so cool. Uh, I, I don't really know what else to say. It's uh, everything you could hope for and more. So I'd like to thank you guys all for watching again. Uh, and I will see you next time. Download this mod from the description. If you don't, I don't know what's wrong with you. It's so good. Thanks again for watching. See ya.